Um, during my internship experience, um, I got to be exposed to the age group that I really want to work with, and I chose to work with preschoolers and also within an elementary school. Um, and I just fell in love with that age group. Uh, child development is very multidimensional. You look at play, social skills, cognitive skills, um, and I just found it to be fascinating. In Framingham, they do an amazing job with working together and really understanding the full child um, before um, making any critical decisions about their lives. Uh, at the preschool level, I worked with this little student who was actually homeless and he was being evaluated for uh, cognition and social skills. Um, and when he came in with the social worker, he was very, very nervous and scared and was crying. Um, and really it made the, the you know, building rapport and testing him difficult. And my supervisor tried really hard to build that rapport, but I noticed that the child just really wanted to play. So when I placed the toys in front of him, I was able to build that rapport and I could test him. Um, without any worries or issues and, and from that moment we kind of built a friendship from there which made the testing a lot easier and when he was leaving with the social worker he turned around and gave me the biggest hug and had a, a tear in his eye and that really just meant a lot to me so from that moment on I knew that preschool was the age for me. The faculty here at MSPP have been amazing. My advisor um, Craig Murphy has done wonderful things he really helped me find a good internship placement and practicum placement, which really set me up to have such great experiences here at MSPP. Um, also, because of the demands with school and internship and life, he really becomes someone that you can go to when you are struggling. So at my internship site this year, I've had a wonderful experience. I'm lucky to have two great supervisors and I think having great supervisors that you feel comfortable with is really important because some days you're going to feel like you're not doing a great job. And to have them as a support system and to kind of keep you going and saying, nope, this is just the stress of the job, but you're doing an awesome job, keep going. And to be there and to push you has been probably the most important thing this year because I'm learning things that I never would have otherwise learned. We were able to get within the schools within the first couple of weeks, um, which was huge for me because that's how I learned best. I really found a love for and found um, some skills within and really improved. And I was in a therapeutic school. Um, I was able to work with um, an extended school year program, um, different communities, different populations. Um, it was wonderful. I was within an urban setting um, and worked with a young student who had just sort of started her education, her career. Um, she was a kindergarten student and she had been um, sort of flip-flopped around through many foster homes and it sort of found her forever home um, with this wonderful woman who had been a foster mother to um, nearly 400 kids over her career. And um, that was probably one of my favorite team meetings um, because we were able to show the positive side of her being within this stable environment with her um, Lo loving school, taking to school, um, striving to do her best every day, feeling supported, um, and it just felt like a really supportive environment. Um, and it was a, I don't, it was just a wonderful experience. I was able to then um, move with that student and and offer my services um, in terms of giving her a reading boost before school. I would come in and we'd read books together, um, just you know for fun and to hopefully build her sense of community.